and welcome to our first lesson on vectors for year one A-level mathematics. So in this question, we've been told that the position vectors of A and B are A and B, which are here, and that C is the midpoint of A to B. And we've been asked to calculate in terms of A and B, the vector A to B. So we'll begin by writing the vector A to B. We have an arrow on top to signify it's a vector. And the path will be from A to O, followed by O to B. Now we can see that A to O has the same magnitude, but the opposite direction as O to A. So we can write A to O as minus O to A. So now we can tidy this up as O to B minus O to A. And we've been told that O to B is B and O to A is A. So we can write A to B as B minus A. So now the vector A to C. We've been told that C is the midpoint of A to B. So A to C will have half the magnitude, but the same direction as A to B. So we can write it as one half of the vector A to B. And we've already worked out A to B as B minus A. So one half of B minus A. For question C, the vector O to C, where we can go to O to C by going from O to A, followed by A to C. O to A we've been told is A, and A to C we've worked out as one half lots of B minus A. So we'll expand this bracket out. We'll have A plus one half of B minus one half of A. We can collect the A terms. So one half of A plus one half of B. And we can factorize that with half to make it a bit tidier. So one half lots of A plus B. Okay, let's try the next question. So for question two, we've been told the position vectors of P and Q are P and Q, when these vectors are given in bold. And R is a point on P to Q, so that P to R is double the length of R to Q. And we've been asked to work out P to Q in terms of these vectors. So P to Q will be equal to P to O, followed by O to Q. And we know that P to O is the same magnitude but the opposite direction of O to P. So we can write this as O to Q minus O to P. We know O to Q is Q and O to P is P. Q minus P. And for question B, the vector P to R, well, we've been told that R is a point of PQ, so that P to R is double R to Q. So we can write this as two parts, and this would be one part. So we've broken up the line P to Q into three parts, and P to R is two of them. So that would be two thirds of R to Q, which is two thirds of Q minus P. And the question C, O to R, well, we can go from O to P, followed by P to R. So O to P plus P to R. So O to P, we know, is P. And P to R is two thirds of Q minus P. So let's expand out these brackets. So P plus two thirds of Q minus two thirds of P. 
we can collect the P times. So one third of P plus two thirds of Q. And we can factorize that the third. So one third lots of P plus two Q. Okay, let's try another question. Okay, so for example three, we've been given this parallelogram. We've been told that O to B is a vector of B, O to A is a vector of A, and that the point D breaks up O to C in the ratio five to one. So we're going to work out the vector O to C. And this is O to B plus B to C. But because it's a parallelogram, we know B to C has the same direction and the same magnitude as O to A. So we can write B to C as a vector of A. So O to C, O to B plus B to C. O to B we know is B and B to C is A. So we have A plus B. So for question B, the vector O to D, well, because we've broken up the line O to C into six parts, we know O to D is five of them. So this will be five six of the vector O to C, which is five six of B plus A. And now vector B to D, which is this vector here, we can go from B to O plus O to D. B to O, I'm going to write as minus O to B. So O to D minus O to B. O to D, we've worked out as 5, 6, lots of B plus A. And O to B, we know is B, so minus B. We can expand this bracket, so we have 5 6 of B plus 5 6 of A minus 6 6 of B. So we have our A term, 5 6 of A, and then 5 6 minus 6 6 is minus 1 6 of B. So we can factorize out the 1, 6, and we have 5a minus b. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.